All right, hey y'all. Um, I just woke up. It's Monday morning, and I just decided, you know, it's finally time that I uh, show how I do my shot. Yes, I know this is very, you know, please don't flag me. Um, I'm just gonna show you how to do my shot. Uh, this is the needle thingy, the um, where you put all your needles. You know, once you're done using them, mine's pretty full. Um, I haven't actually changed out for like months so that's like it lasts a while and once it's like once you're done with it just saying um you like keep the box that it came in then you like put it back in the box and you just ship it out and they'll dispose of it for you like literally don't throw this in the trash it has a little thingy on it so here we have the needle and let me talk about this so because this is something that so nobody explained to me when i first got my shot is that um but the 22g and one inch the one inch is very important because, I mean, it needs to be one inch, I think, at least to, you know, get intramuscular. 22G is what you should be using to to inject with um, because it's just, that's just the right size. Like 25 is too small. Like the higher you go in numbers, the smaller the needle gets, and that's going to make it really hard to inject or draw because testosterone is a thick liquid. And then here we have this needle, which is what I'm gonna use to draw. This is the pink, the pink needle, it's 18G, one and a half inch. It's a little longer, but that's fine. Um, it's really, like, it's a lot, it's a lot bigger needle, a lot, a lot of a big, it's a much big, bigger needle than the other one. And this is what we're gonna use to draw. Yeah, as you can see, I just switched out the needles keeping the cap on, keeping it sterile. I'm just gonna put it right over there where I know where it is. I'm like waving this needle around, but like, it's fine. <laughs> it's covered. Um, but here, you're gonna need these. You're gonna need this or like any toip, toip, um, alcohol, like the, the drug, or like have a cotton swabs or like anything, honestly, to just like clean up the area. All right, so you're supposed to switch from area to area, like leg to leg, hip to hip. I have not figured out how to do my own hip yet, so I'm kind of like doing a dumb and just like switching from leg to leg every week, which is like not recommended because the scar tissue will start to form and it'll start to get harder to do your shot to get more painful and stuff. So it, I, I would recommend like learning how to do different places because I know you, there's a space back here just like it has to be in the muscle, not in the, the fatty area, because it's intramuscular. All right, so you're supposed to be rubbing this for like 10 seconds to get, get it clean, clean and nasty leggy. So I'm about to start drawing. So you're gonna, what you're gonna do is, this is how you read it. There's one, that's for one ml. And since I'm 0 0.6, this is the half, so that should be like 0.5, you know, halfway to one. So we're gonna go all the way to 0.6. Top layer of this rubber thingy should be on the line. Nobody told me that either. But yeah, the top of the rubber thingy should be on the line. Don't worry about the little like pyramid that's on it. All right, so what you do is that you draw like air into it all the way to the measured amount before you take the testosterone. It just makes it easier. So what I'm doing is I'm rubbing the top of this because it's been exposed to life because I've opened it since like the last time I did the shot. And so I'm just rubbing it for 10 seconds, which is what you should do. Okay. Put that over there. All right. So I un I unneedled this. So like pay attention to where your needle is at all times because you could literally slice your hand open with it no pressure all right so i you see how as i like i stabbed it in like this but you could stab it in like this like, I, as well i'm like i'm very i'm paying very close attention to the needles i don't think i'm just waving it around um and so what you do is you put it upside down because that's the best way to do it you inject the air so that you know it has a counterbalance of like air to testosterone ratio and you can just pull out anything that's in there i'm sorry if you can't really see and just like try 
try to get every last drop. Oh, that's why I'm using the tippy, tippy tip of this needle. So I'm trying to get every last drop from the lid, like where it's reserved. All right, so I think I got everything from this needle. I mean, from this jar or whatever. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it in here. I'm gonna draw until all this testosterone is out of the needle part. And then I'm just gonna let it go back by itself. Okay, and now I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna cover the needle because I'm not using it. I can example how we get more, which really isn't that hard. But yeah, there wasn't that much in that vial. There's like 0.3 in that vial, and I, I need 0.6. So it's a good thing I have another vial open. We get our needle again. You draw until the point that you need it, which is 0.6. Well, that's for me. For you, it could be something else, but I'm just saying 0.6 is me. Don't do 0.6 if it's not your dosage. Okay, warning over. All right, I unneedled it again. You can use the same needle um, to like continuously draw because the thing about reusing needles is that the tip can get very dull and cause it to be more painful to inject or more difficult. Um, but since I'm just drawing with this needle, uh, it's not really a big deal that it's the tip is dull or not. I'm not gonna put it in my skin. Um, so here we go. I draw. I, I injected the air. Now I'm gonna pull out very slowly. A lot of testosterone. <laughs> that's a lot of testosterone. That's more than I need. All right. So I kind of pulled the whole jar, but that's okay, because. What you can do now is that you can just look at the, the measurement and you just, until you get what you need. Pop it out. My leg is shaky because I'm like so nervous already. Close it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull until all this testosterone is out of that needle. You know what I mean? It's because I want all of it. And I don't want to waste any of it. It's important stuff. Okay, so now we have to get rid of this needle. And I'm going to untwist it. And I'm going to put it directly in the needle jar so we don't stab ourselves and get AIDS and stuff. All right, so now I have the other needle. So I'm just going to twist it on. You can literally just twist these things on. Okay, so now this needle is ready to inject. It's always okay to double check. I was just pushing it until it was all in the needle, just on the brink of like coming out. So it was 0.6. Um, I do count what's in the needle, because it's not that much really, just like, you can't fit a lot of testosterone in the needle. I just think it's more accurate, and I used to not do that, and used to be like, my dosage used to be a little bit too short, so, I, I mean, it hasn't really done anything wrong for me so far, so it's fine. And what you should do is you should get, honestly, you should get a band-aid ready, just in case um, it starts spilling out. Like, sometimes if you're, like, too clenched or, like, you're too close to the surface, testosterone will start to spill out. But that's okay. Like, it's not really a waste of testosterone. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to do a shot now. I'm really nervous. But it's fine. And I in my underwear. Okay. I, okay, it's fine. So what you have to do is where you have to do it because like there's a special like area you have to do it in is that you have to kind of like draw like quarters across your leg and do it in the in this quarter <laughs> in the upper left for me for me it's the upper left corner but right over here yep that's where all the muscles are okay so then you just like pick an area you like squeeze your leggy squeeze an amount, squeeze a chunk where you think it's going to be muscly and you aim straight down, it has to be a 90 degree angle straight down, I hope you can see this, this is really awkward Okay, and you just go so I'm going to, honestly I'm going to start yelling hold on hmm, it kills me not to notice but I've all but just forgotten what the color of her eyes are scars are how she got them Telling times of age, 
signs of age ring down, a single tear is dropping. So what you have to do is you kind of have to aspirate, which is you pull some air out. You make sure you're not hitting a blood vessel, because that would be bad. And if no blood shows up, you just keep going. You just... You do it slow, because it's testosterone is going to be slow, dude. And then you just keep going till it's gone. Ah! That was me. Don't worry about it. And you just pull it out. You cap it. You dispose of it. You deal with this. Which it looks like... Yeah. <laughs> it's a band-aid. Nothing's coming out this time. It's pretty cool. I think I did it too near the top. Yeah, it should have been more down the side. It's too, like, on top, but... I mean, I mean, the only thing bad, bad thing about that is that I think is it's going to be a lot more sore because I realize that when you do it more towards the top of your leg or like towards the front and you're too far away from like the actual zone is that it's a lot more sore and it hurts a lot more, but it's not like not in your body. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of rubbing the area to like spread this testosterone like I mean there's a lot of different like opinions on like whether rubbing it helps or not because I used to believe it didn't because I thought it was just like gonna make your leg hurt more but I don't know it just kind of makes me feel better just to rub it so that's what I'm doing okay you don't have to though I have a cute little cloud band-aid all right so that's that ah sorry that's awkward okay all right um so that is how I do my shot. The shot's done. It's over. I have all this garbage to deal with now. And this partially full vial. So I'm going to keep it for next time. That's how I do my shot. Thank you for watching. I hope that I explained in the, like, the best way possible. I hope it wasn't too complicated. I'm not gonna... But like, anyways, here's my box. I made this box. It's out of Banana Republic shoe box. But like, there's a bunch of stuff all over it that I just taped on, and I just continue taping on. And I put, I like organized it, like I, there's a little shelf right here that I put my testosterone on. There's my needles, my band-aids, my alcohol pads, and my big needles, my syringes, yeah. So yeah, that's how you do your shot. I realize I'm still in my underwear. Let me like, okay, hello. Um, I hope I answered Lots of questions. If you have any questions, definitely ask. It's morning. I'm sorry about the bad light. Um, so anyways, thank you for watching. I'm Simon. Goodbye.